okay. So, the with this notion of equivalence now defined, we now have uh, the basic question, okay, well, this is a very strong notion, but, but is this, does this even hold, right. So, for does there exist? So, this brings us to the question for every mixed strategy, does there exist an equivalent an equivalent B i uh, for every sigma mixed strategy sigma i does there equ exist an equivalent behavioral strategy B i equivalent in the sense defined above and likewise for every behavioral strategy does there exist a mixed every behavioral strategy behind B i does there exist an equivalent sigma i mixed strategy sigma i ok. Now, again for for those of you who know a little bit about Markov decision processes and or stochastic control, a behavioral strategy is what we know as randomized strategies or randomized policies in 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 the Markov decision processes literature ok or uh, you know uh, for uh, you encounter this in learning theory and so on during Q when you do Q uh, policy uh, iteration or Q learning and so on ok. So, uh, so a behavioral strategy over there is essentially a, a, a random choice of an action at each state and that is essential that is what this is. So, the state is your information set you know that is what you know and so you are producing a random choice of an action uh, at that information set ok. So, we are now left with essentially this question. So, is it true now that we have defined this notion of equivalence is it true that for every mixed strategy there exists a equivalent behavioral strategy and for every behavioral strategy does there exist an equivalent mixed strategy ok. If, if we have if one if we settle this then then it means that you know we uh, we are clean as far as the theory of games is concerned because then we don't need to tell the player what to play we can just stick to our role as observers right okay all right okay so unfortunately <laughs> this is not the case okay so there are counter examples so let's see okay so uh, so here's an example so in fact i don't even need to bring in uh, multiple players to give you one example. So, this is an this is an example of a mixed mixed strategy with no equivalent behavioral strategy So, here is here is the game, the so, uh, game begins at this node say let us say player 1 is playing, he has to play L and R. Once he is uh, done with playing that, it is it turns out after that it is again his turn to play all right and again he has to play L or R ok, I am just using the same notation. But he has forgotten what he has played in the first step ok, he remembers he has played, but he has forgotten that uh, what he has played is this clear. So, now what are the uh, set of pure strategies? How many pure strategies for this player? 4 pure strategies ok. Again L L L R R L R R ok. These are his 4 pure strategies. So, consider uh, let us say consider this mixed strategy a mixed strategy like this L L with probability half 0 for L R 0 for R L and half for R R. This is now a mixed strategy, right. So, it is a vector, it, a, this is a probability distribution on 4 on this set, it is playing, he is playing L L with probability half, R R with probability half and all other strategies with probability 0, ok. Now, once again let us look at what outcomes can come out of this the outcomes here are there are four possible ways in which this thing can end uh, four leaf nodes right o1 o2 o3 o4 ok what are the pro what is the probability of reaching each of these 
under this mix strategy. So, let us write this what is the probability of reaching O 1? Probability of reaching O 1 is equal to the probability of taking actions L followed by L. See, we are, so the way we write out games is we keep track of the entire history even though players may not remember it. So, as observers we know exactly what history has happened, right. So, what has happened is L has, ha in order to reach O 1 there is only one way which is L followed by L. Now, what is the probability that that sequence of actions is chosen? It is half, ok. So, O 1 is reached with probability half. What about O 2? If you want to reach O 2, it has to be L followed by R and that is that is not the probability of doing happening of that happening is 0, ok. So, O 2 is 0, similarly O 3 is, uh, is 0 and O 4 is half. right this is the probability of reaching these these nodes ok. Now, suppose the player does a uh, a behavioral strategy ok. So, now let me write in in red a behavioral strategy. So, what will he do for as a behavioral strategy? He has to pick an, an action at random at each information set two information sets the starting node and the second node, this information set. So, here he is choosing an action at random let us say suppose he chooses L with probability alpha and R with probability 1 minus alpha ok. And out here he chooses L with probability beta and R with probability 1 minus beta ok. okay. So, now what is the problem let us see now what is the probability of reaching node O 1? What is the probability of getting outcome O 1? alpha times beta right. So, so now my behavioral strategy here ok. And so, now let us write out the probability of reaching these various nodes. So, probability of reaching node O 1 is alpha beta O 2 outcome O 2 will come, will come up with probability alpha into 1 minus beta O 3 will come with probability um, 1 minus alpha into beta and O 4 comes with 1 minus alpha times 1 minus beta ok. All right. So, now question for you is here is a the green one is a mixed strategy that I just wrote ok. It is a valid mixed strategy and it produces uh, this distribution the green distribution sorry it comes up from a mixed strategy. Can I get this distribution? Can I simulate this distribution using a behavioral strategy? that is not possible. Why is that not possible? Because if you, you want O 2 the probability of reaching O 2 to be 0 which means you will necessarily get. So, you will get alpha into 1 minus beta to be 0 which means either alpha is 1 alpha is 0 or beta is 1 right implies alpha is equal to 0 or beta is equal to 1. But if alpha is if alpha is 0 and b uh, uh, if either alpha is 0 or beta is 1 there is no way that O 4 and O, o 1 will have probabilities half. You also want alpha beta to be half and 1 minus alpha into 1 minus beta to be half. These are inconsistent right. So, it is so there is for this mixed strategy there is no equivalent behavioral strategy. And you can see what has happened here. Again, there is an issue of memory. In a when you randomize over pure strategies, a pure strategy has in it implicitly a memory involved because it is a sequence of actions that you have taken throughout. So you it is possible for you to sort of take choose a particular path by choosing a pure strategy. Whereas 
in a behavioral strategy, when you are randomizing in a behavioral strategy, you are randomizing afresh at each information set. You may or may not have remembered what uh, at that information set, you may or may not know what happened in the past. Okay, so strategically, it's so you it you can we cannot say that the player should be restricted to one one thing or the other. Or in this case, what has happened is that actually the set of mixed strategies is actually large. It turns out uh, the reverse is actually true that for every behavioral strategy there exists a mixed strategy. Okay, in this case, I can actually show that you could, you know you should just in fact in fact it's apparent from here itself. I take a behavioral strategy alpha beta this is the distribution I will get right and then corresponding to each I just need to assign assign these and that they add up this whole thing adds up to one right. So, that gives me a, a, a an equivalent mixed strategy. So, for every behavioral strategy there is an equivalent mixed strategy in this game, but for every mixed strategy there is no behavioral strategy they need not be a behavioral strategy. Clear? Okay. Yeah. No, he just uh, the mixed strategy is does not require him to do that, right? He just needs to look at okay what information set he is at, and he just plays. So he doesn't need to remember the action as part of the uh, as part in order to play the mixed strategy. Hmm. He doesn't remember, but he knows that he has to play L as part of his strategy. See, the point is that's the thing. So, what he knows at this information set is already there in this information set, and he just says that his strategy is to play L at this information set. The question is whether he can recognize the information set or not. If he can recognize the information set, then that's it. Right. So, if he has some measurement apparatus which tells him that he that he is at this information set, but that is at least that is what the game is saying, right? When the extensive form has this shape, it basically says that he is able to tell whether he is at one of these two nodes, but he does not know which one. So, he can you know he has some sensor or whatever to tell him that he is at this node, and then based on that, he takes an action. Now, he does not need to have stored in his memory what he took before or he does not need a good enough sensor to tell him wh whether he is followed this history or that history. But it is part his strategy is that when his sensor gives him this reading he is supposed to just play this action. Is this clear? Yeah. Yeah. So, here that is no, no. So, but uh, to show that it is not equivalent, it is enough to check uh, I, enough to check that I get a contradiction. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To show that they are equivalent, I have to check for every. To show that they are not, it is enough to uh, you know show that it breaks as at one place, right? Yeah. Let us take another example, ok. So, this is now. So, a behavioral strategy with no equivalent mixed strategy. So, here is the here is this uh, game now the player here is player 1 at this node he starts off here yes he can take 2 actions L and R. And if he takes action L, the game comes to this node, at which case he has again two actions to take L and R. Okay. And now I have to draw the information set, and the information set is funky. Okay. So, I, I mean, this could, uh, this is not starting from a singleton information set. But that is ok, I could have you know put in a bigger tree here and then ended up here that is that is perfectly fine. So, just imagine for the moment just take it from here as if the, this is part of some subtree ok. Now, 
here this is the this is where the uh, this is the uh, the situation player 1 has how many information sets player 1 has just one information set and at at each information set he has two actions l or r when he takes action l the game actually moves forward to another node but he has no way of knowing that that has happened so when he plays l he has no way of knowing that the game has actually moved forward for him it is no different from him having not pressed l at all so which means he's, it's like the situation where he's applied a control but he has there is nothing no physical change around him he has no way to know if he is if his thing has not been applied or is the thing not working or what he has no he he has there is no way for him to know but if he plays r he does know and the game goes goes to some other node okay so the world around him when he plays l the world around him looks the same there is his he, he has his his readings uh, you know his sensor readings and all that ex are exactly the same question so he can well for him it's like okay chalo ek aur <laughs> let's press once more is clear so this is i mean you can give many uh, sort of uh, physical uh, interpretations to this, but this is essentially the case where you uh, where the where a, an an actuator has acted but does not has doesn't get the acknowledgement to know that it has actually acted okay so we send all these signals into outer space and all that how do we know that anyone has even received them right so for if 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 taking action l means that we, someone has received them then you need an acknowledgement back if something has to bounce back or whatever right for us it's if if you don't get that it's as good as that action has not been taken it's that sort of a setting okay of course there is a more amusing setting you can think of this guy is a, a a driver taking left turns right turns etc but he is absent minded he's taken a left turn forgets that he took a left turn and now wants to take one more left turn or right turn okay is is there's our doubt think of a driver in outer space the world around him looks dark and the same he's taken a left turn he has no way of knowing that his turn has actually got an executed okay all right so now what are his pure strategies how many pure strategies two pure strategies there's just one information set and two actions at this information set right so two pure strategies l and r okay yeah yeah so as i said that 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 was only to so yes when we when i wrote out an extensive the definition of the extensive form i said that some books include this as part of the definition so this is essentially a, a case of absent mindedness where you have taken an action but do not know that you have taken an action right now whether you allow for that or not is a matter of choice uh, of how generally you want to make that kind of model you are allowing people to forget whatever so whether you want to allow them to forget that they even acted that's the question uh no this is necessary yeah. uh it is a multi act game because there is a path that intersects uh, a player's player set twice it just happens that those that path passes through the same information set see that is why i said you know that's why we need to put all that structure in feedback games you know to make the multi act game structured imagine if some information set like this was extended across stages in a game imagine how uh, you know complicated that could become right yeah okay so there are two pure strategies and how many possible outcomes the game can go to these three possible nodes here so let's the outcomes are o1 o2 o3 okay these are the three possible outcomes now by playing a pure strategy okay let me ask you this is it possible for the driver to ever get to o2 impossible right why 
because there are two pure strategies L and R. If he plays L, the game comes here and then he has to again, he is in the same information set, he then again plays L because his policy is to play L at this information set. So, the game comes to O1, right? And if he plays R at this information set, that is it, he goes to O3. There is no way for him to reach O2 by playing pure strategies, which means by even after randomizing over the set of pure strategies, the probability of reaching node O2 is going to be 0 for any distribution because there is no there is no pure strategy that reaches O2, ok. So, the probability of reaching O2 because ev for every pure strategy, so there are these two pure strategies, you have to randomize over these two, you choose one or the other. Uh, so, suppose you choose this with probability uh, uh, probability lambda, this with probability 1 minus lambda, right. What is the probability of reaching O2? In either case, you do not reach O2, right? Tell me how is the you choose one of these as random and then say what is the probability? Yeah. So, probability of reaching O2 is in any mixed strategy, under any mixed strategy sigma i is equal to 0 for all mixed strategies sigma i, right. But now suppose he does a behavioral strategy, ok. Let us say he does a behavioral strategy, consider a behavioral strategy where he does L with probability half and R with probability half, ok. Then what is the probability of reaching these various nodes? Then O1 is reached with probability half times half which is half times half which is one fourth. What is O2 is reached with probability also one fourth half times half which is one fourth and O3 is reached with probability half. So, this absent minded driver can actually get to the right destination <laughs> you know by playing behavioral strategies when he could not have done it with uh, by mixed strategies all right. So, so this so there is something quite subtle here ok about how to randomize because I mean I you may make fun of this kind of a game you might find this ridiculous, but the point is this is there is something. Uh, that this way of randomization is actually you know letting you do what you could not have do, done in 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 a in a, in the conventional or mixed strategy way okay so this is you can think of this as a form of exploration right is the player is trying to explore uh, the the space uh, and it turns out, well if you are go, if you are going to choose a policy at random that is that is somehow limiting as compared to doing exploration in this way right ok all right. So, so, so therefore, now what this means is since there are counter examples on both sides it means that this need there is a you need a theorem ok. So, you need a theorem for when there ex when do there exist ok. So, so we need a theorem for when there exists a behavioral strategy equivalent to a mixed one and a mixed equivalent to a behavioral one and so on, ok. So, the in each of these cases actually if you see a player is forgetting something and that is it turns out that that is fundamental to this, ok. So, what is what has the player forgotten in this in this game? In this game, he's at this information set. He's forgotten what he played in the previous at the previous previous time that he played, right? He's forgotten what he played. At this information set, he's forgotten even that he played. Is this clear? Okay. So let us now try to think. Okay, what are, what exact what are the various things that a player could forget? Okay. So what can a player forget?
So, at any node, so, so this is a multi ag setting. So, when you see you are at some information set, there is probably in its precedence some other information set where the player has previously acted, right. So, now we need we should be able to compare what that player knows at this information set versus what he knew in the previous in some earlier at, a, at an earlier stage in the history of the game, right, along the same path. So, what can we, what are the things that the player could forget? So, he can of course, forget what action he took, ok. Or rather let me put this positively. So, what, so if you want a player to remember everything, let us say. So, if you want a player, if a player has to forget nothing, has to forget nothing, what should he for, uh, you know, uh, what, what are, what, what are the things that he cannot forget? So, he cannot forget action he cannot forget the actions he took in the past ok so this is this is something very common we use this in uh, MD, in markov decision processes and stochastic control and so on also we the information that you have at any time step includes the set of observations up till that time step and the actions that you have taken up till that time step right so so the, the actions is part of it. So, you what you what a player must know the remember the actions is taken at that time ok in the past ok. What else can you not forget? We have not defined state, but so state is what in this case? No, but he so, we are see this is not about what he knows, this is about what he can what he should not forget. See forget is different from knowing. So, knowing means that he actually when he when I say he knows something he knows whether he is at this information set and or he is at this node and so on. He may have so, a player may know nothing actually, but he is it is quite ok provided in the past also he knew nothing, then he is not forgotten anything. Is this clear? So, forgetting is about is is the differential information essentially the what he knows now relative to what he knew earlier. Is this clear? Yeah. So, he cannot forget the actions that he has taken. So, this is something that uh, ha is additional information that has happened. So, he cannot forget that the actions that he has taken ok. Cannot forget that he took an action at all which is what happened in the absent minded driver ok. Well, uh, not really, not that different actually. If he knows the action, then he knows that he has taken an action. Yeah. Ah, that is the, that's the important thing. See, so cannot forget an act, it is ok. See, it is of no use if you remember the action, but you forgot what information you had when you took the action. So, again, reminding you of you know, as you do in uh, partially observed Markov decision processes and so on. The, the information you have that a player has at any time, the set of all observations up until that time. So, it includes all the previous information and the information and his actions that have happened, in, right. So, so the cannot forget what he previously knew. All right. So, this is what we want and now how do we capture this in an extensive form? We need to put this into a form of a definition that we can actually into a form of a formal definition. So, we say that player i has perfect recall if the following holds. Every information set
intersects every path at most once. So, absent mindedness is gone with this. Okay. So, every information set is uh, intersects every path at most once. Every path means path from root node to a leaf node. Okay. Okay. Now, but this does this only prevents absent mindedness. You have to now make sure you have to ensure that you can do not forget actions and do not forget what you previously knew. Okay. Now, here is the thing. So, if suppose two nodes x dash and x double dash are in the same information set. So, if you have two nodes that are in the same information set of player i okay, and suppose so now we need so that means he, he is he cannot distinguish between these two nodes x dash and x double dash. Okay. So, it is like this x dash and x double dash. Now, suppose x dash comes from uh, a, a predecessor node, let us call it x, let us call it x. Okay. So, x is a predecessor of x dash and let us say x hat is a predecessor of x double dash. So, x dash and x double dash are in the same information set. So, these two are in the same information set. x is a predecessor of x dash and x hat is a predecessor of x double dash. Okay. So, I am just drawing this as a yellow highlighted thing because so it may be uh, I mean there could be a long intermediate tree many other players playing and all that, but x x dash is a predecessor x is a predecessor of x hat x dash and x hat is a predecessor of x double dash. Okay. Now, if he, if this if this is the case could these two guys x and x hat have been in different information sets. Is that possible? So, these are so x these are nodes. So, this is this is player i's node. These are also player i's nodes. Could these two have been in two different information sets x and x hat? Why no? Okay. Or alternatively, see if he ca if these two are in different information sets, then there was something that player I knew at that time, which helped him distinguish between x and x hat. But after that, the game has reached a stage where he he cannot he cannot distinguish between these two histories anymore. So, which means there is something he knew at that time which he has forgotten. Yeah. So, so imagine the history of the game has passed through this, this node and then reached this and then this through, through this node it is reached here. Right. So, now what the situation in the red information set is that the player is not able to distinguish between these two histories. But if the if this these two x and x hat were in different information sets, then at that time of play he was able to, but today he is not right in the red information set he is not able, which means that necessarily it has to be the case that these two are also in the same information set. If he has perfect recall right, the fact that he does not have this information now means that he did not have it in the past either. It could not have been that he had it in the past, but he has forgotten it now. Right. So, so if x and x dash are in the same information set of pi and x is a predecessor, if x is a predecessor of x dash, then x hat, then there is a node x hat in the same information set as x and 
is a predecessor of x double dash ok. So, so these two guys must be in the same information set. So, now can these two nodes be the same? Can x and x hat be the same? He would have forgotten the action. See, if these two nodes are the same, that means these two this these two coalesce into one, right? Then what must be the case? That means then after he has taken two different actions, which has one which has led him led the game down the path to x dash, the other has led the game down the path to x double dash. So which but now he cannot distinguish between x dash and x double dash. Right. So, which means up till this node x, he had remembered what had happened. He then took two different actions. He could have taken two different actions, ok, which one which would lead to x dash and the other is led to x, da x double dash, but now he does not remember which action was taken because he cannot distinguish between x dash and x double dash, right. So, these two could not cannot be in the same information uh, cannot sorry these two have cannot be the same node they have to be in the same information set, but cannot be the same node. Because then it would mean that he is he is forgotten the action that he is taken ok all right. But let me uh, let me ask you this is that enough that these are two distinct nodes does that ensure that he has not forgotten anything. For example, suppose he took an action L here and he took an action R here. Then again he has come to a stage where he does not remember whether L was taken or R was taken, right. Ha, so, the, he has to have taken the same action also here, otherwise he is again forgotten the action. If the two nodes were the same, of course, he was taking two distinct actions to read to do this these two he that there are two distinct actions which have led to these two paths. But now these two nodes are not the same, but the actions could still be distinct. And for him to not forget the action, it has to be that the actions that lead to these two nodes are also the same ok. So, these uh, so there is a node x hat in the same information set as x and is a predecessor of x double dash. And the action taken at x along the path to x dash is the same as the action taken at x hat. along the path to x double dash. So, this this here the these the specific actions that will be that were chosen here that lead you to this path are also the same all right. It essentially means that if you did not know uh, something in the past and you took an action based on that little that incomplete information or uh, imperfect information ok be based on certain some ignorance. You continue to remember that you took that action, but you do not have any further memory of what you previously knew. I mean you you still are as ignorant as you were about what you previously knew ok. So, so he, whatever so in, in so if he had if these actions would have been distinct this essentially he would have forgotten that these two action that two distinct actions that were taken uh, which were leading to this path ok. So, in, in other words you know if these two actions were distinct basically that would have been two different trees which are you know which are now being put into one you know and there is an information set which is one which is coming from one action the other which is coming from the other, but is now uh, being put into one information set. Again in the MDP language it is like it is as if you know there is a per, some uh, 
some action at some past time which has been forgotten you know you have your, you have a memory of actions up till that time and that action has been forgotten and then after you know maybe after that you remember something or the other is this clear so so this is what we mean by perfect recall okay and so what we'll show is that uh, yeah, we'll show that this is uh, so if a if a player has perfect recall then for every so there, there are two two theorems i'll explain this next time so if a game has perfect recall then for every mixed strategy there is a behavioral strategy okay and uh, if if the uh, if this absent mindedness condition doesn't hold then for every behavioral strategy there is a mixed strategy